Hello. Kevin Tofel here with Jake on the Run. Hello. I'm upside down. But that, there's a reason for that. Because I've hooked up the Asus EPC to my ViewSonic 19-inch monitor via the VGA out. And sure enough, it's working like a champ. I've got it uh, driving 1440 by 900 or I think that's about right. I think that's the res here. We can just double check. No, I don't want to double check. Anyway, I wanted to show you the interface. You can see, probably not read it, but everything here is on my internet tab. We've got web, information, messenger, Skype, network, ebook, Google Docs, World Clock, Wikipedia, internet radio, wireless networks, cool stuff. Uh, I've already got the web open. In fact, let me go to the bottom left and we're actually Alt Tab and whoop! Hey, I recognize that site. And you can see, let's see, we've got a comment here from Wiley on Slate UMPC design, and boom, there's his comment. And I can scroll up. Looks pretty good. Minimize that. And let's go to some other tabs. you got the work tab for accessories. What's in accessories? I haven't looked in accessories. Calculator, PIM, and screen capture. That's pretty cool. And go back to the work tab. And I'm driving this all through the trackpad on the EPC off to the side, which the trackpad leaves a little to be desired. It does have a nice scroll uh, bar, I guess you could say, a virtual scroll bar on the right side of the trackpad, like many trackpads do today. But what's really annoying, and you can hear it, that little clickety clack sound on the uh, mouse button bar. I do not like it. Uh, let's see. Well, of course, I could always tap right on the tra on the trackpad. So we've got documents, spreadsheets, presentations, PDF reader, mail, file manager, dictionary, and notes. That's pretty cool stuff. Learn. This is kind of geared towards uh, kids and such. Science, which I thought was pretty cool. Periodic table, planetarium. I think I just tapped. Yeah, I tapped the uh, periodic table. That's pretty nifty. Planetarium is pretty cool. That's the uh, KDE planetarium program. I used it last night. I think I'm correct. Let's go over to play. We've got games, media, player, music manager, photo manager, video manager, webcam. I used the webcam earlier. In fact, let's fire that up just for a sec. And oh, that's me. I'm up there and I'm down here. Way cool. Looks pretty um, nice as it's capturing it, at least displaying it, but it's not really recording it. When it starts recording, that's when it gets a little eh, meh. Not too good, but anyway. And we've got a sound recorder. Let's see, we got settings over here at the top. Antivirus, which I haven't really played with. Volume, printer, system info, uh, personalization, date time, add remove software, touchpad, disk utility, voice command. This looks pretty cool. I haven't enabled it yet. But let's see if I can use the voice command to actually activate some programs on the EPC. Do, 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 do. It's thinking. It's thinking. Still thinking. I haven't found it as snappy as, say, I would a XP machine with a gig or a Vista machine with two gig, but um, relatively snappy. Hmm, doesn't seem to have done anything. Unless I voice command, oh, it's down here, so I can enable it. Okay, enable. I don't really know how this part works, but uh, e-computer mail. I think you're supposed to say e before everything. At least that's what the manual says. I don't know. Maybe I need to activate each individual thing. I wonder. Computer mail. Let's see if that puts a checkbox there. Nope. Hmm. Computer mail. Mail. Oh, it said mail. It spoke back to me. Oh, look, it's going all by itself. Cool. Very cool. All right, you can see Thunderbird going. Nifty. I like that. So you can voice activate uh, certain things. What else? What else? Computer web. 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 Nice. Mail. Yes, I guess you have to say computer mail. Computer mail. Mail. 
and it switches back. Nice. Computer web. Lead. That's not bad with uh, just the built-in microphone. Pretty nifty. I don't know how it looks on your end, but it's pretty cool. What else can I do here? Let me go take a look at the commands real quick. Mm, okay. Computer camera. camera. It's nice how it speaks back to you so you know what command it actually heard. And there is the recording, and there I am again. Very cool. Man, I forgot to do my hair. Darn! Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, computer calendar. Camera. Oh, camera. Yeah, I'm already on the camera. No supported video capture device. That's probably because I'm using it right now. So let's just say OK. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely cameo shot right there. I'll just have to save that one. Me looking stupid. Uh, pretty often that happens. Let's see, what else can we say? Do, do, do. I don't know if I want to shut it down. Hmm. Computer clock. Computer clock. clock. Nice. Where's my clock? There's a world clock, KDE world clock at the top left, okay. Computer notes. Computer notes. Notes. All right, took two times, not bad. Still not too bad, not too shabby. There's a little sticky. Nice. Be nice if I could do more than just open programs with it, so this will be fun to play with. Very cool. All right, well, let's close all these bad boys down because we don't really care that it's sunny outside somewhere here. Well, that's pretty nice, though. Just have different country, uh, not country, cities there. Cool. All right. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anyway, just wanted to show that you can uh, drive a larger monitor with the EPC and just for fun started to play with the voice command for the first time ever. You got to see it right here on JK on the Run. Bye.